Today is barbecued turkey breast. That's right, we're smoking up a turkey breast, guys. We have got a great recipe for you. We are gonna brine this turkey breast, season it up, get it on the smoker, and then we're gonna turn it into a fantastic uh, turkey melt sandwich. You've got it, guys. I've got some great big buns. We're gonna grill onions and peppers. We got some smoked chipotle gouda cheese. Put that on here, and guys, it's gonna be fantastic, so stick around. You have a chance to win a Yoder pellet smoker. Folks, I am in a contest. It is the Barbecue Pitmasters of YouTube contest. And everyone that goes and votes has a chance to win a Yoder pellet smoker. To vote, all you have to do is, is look below this video and click where it shows, uh, it says show more. If you click that, it's gonna take you to my description page. And on the description page, I'm gonna have a link down there that says to vote for this video, go to Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. If you click that link, you're going to go over to Smoking Joe's community page, and once you get there, you're going to be able to vote for my video. I'm going against Ricer of Dead Broke Barbecue. But guys, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your neighbors, tell a stranger on the street to go vote for Chef Johnny in this contest and get yourself in for the drawing of this fantastic Yoder Smoker and help me win this contest. I appreciate it. Let's get back to our smoked turkey breast real quick, and I think Samson says, vote for Chef Johnny also. So let's get over there, do that voting, and get yourself registered for that pellet smoker from Yoder. Hi, I'm Chef Johnny, and this is Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. Appreciate you stopping by. And guys, this is the turkey breast we're fixing to cook. I got about a five pound turkey breast, and we're gonna brine it. So I'm gonna get it in a brine. We're gonna let this thing go for about five, six, seven hours, and then we're gonna pull it out, dry it a little bit, and get it ready to go on this smoker. But first thing we're gonna do is, is make up a brine. And guys, let me tell you something. Y'all can, can put comments down below. A brine is wet, a brine is not dry. People wanna say they have a dry brine. Well, go look up the definition of a brine. I think if you look up the definition, it says it is wet, it is water, it is a salt water solution. Solution means water. So we're gonna take a gallon of water. I've got two cups of brine here from my, my turkey brine from Cosmos, and I'm gonna put about half of it. I'm not gonna measure it exactly, but we're gonna go in with about a cup of the brine. If you're doing it at home, it's a cup of salt to a gallon of water. We've got that going. This will work for a whole turkey. We're just doing a breast, so I'm not making all of it today. I'm gonna put this inside of a bowl inside of my refrigerator. Just like that, all right? Pour in my brine. And really, I probably could have got away with half gallon instead of a whole gallon, but we're gonna dump this gallon in there. We're gonna seal it up. Let me see, I may not use it all. Yeah, I'll go a little bit more. Could have got away with a little bit less. Half gallon, half a cup of brine, but we're gonna do that. This is going in a bowl that's going in my refrigerator, and it's gonna stay in there for five to seven hours. I'm gonna pull it out, I'm gonna dry it off, rinse it off, dry it off, and then what I'm gonna do is, is let it sit in the refrigerator and dry out just a little bit, and then we're gonna season it. So the next time you see me, I'm gonna be back here getting it onto my, uh, onto my kettle smoker, and we're gonna be cooking this up. Take us about two and a half hours at 275, but hey, Stick around, come see how I season this, how I set up my smoker, and how we get this turkey breast cooked up. It is the next day, and we have our turkey breast out of the brine. Guys, I took it out, and what I've done is, is I've rinsed it off, patted it dry, sat it in the refrigerator, sat for a few hours in there. Now it's time for us to get it and season it up. So let me show you the seasons we're using today. I've got two seasons for you that we're gonna coat this with. We're gonna layer flavors on this turkey breast, all right? First one is a current competition bird powder from Uncle Steve's Shake. We're coming back on top with approved winner, and that's the Honey Chipotle Killer Bee from Cosmo. So we're gonna use these, we're gonna layer those flavors. You've been around here much, you know I talk about layering flavors. This is one of the layers that we're gonna get on here right now. Come in close, let me show you. For a binder today, I'm using just some yellow mustard. Doesn't take a whole lot. We come here on top. 
Give me a nice little coating here. It's going to help everything stick. Flip it over. Same process over here. Don't have to just pour this on, guys. Just takes just a little bit, but that's there. Back on this side. Let me wash my hands off, and then we'll get the seasonings on. Base coat's going to be Uncle Steve's shake. Again, I'm just really enjoying this new season he's came out with. So, guys, he's got a few different ones. He has this competition uh, uh, bird shake. He's got competition cow shake and competition uh, pig shake. But we got a nice little coating on that side, so we're going to move to our Chipotle Killer Bee. I'm going to get it on there. And guys, I'm going to tie this up with butcher's twine. So I'm not going to worry a whole lot about uniformity. Right now, I'm going to go back over it again in a minute. Let's go to this side. Uncle Steve's shake. Now, one thing about this skin is here, look at this. It is loose, so... I'm gonna go under the skin, give me some seasoning down on that meat with each one of these. If you wanted to pull it up a little further, you really could get up underneath there real good. Right, there we go. So what we're gonna do now is, I'm gonna take some butcher's twine, got a roll of it here, and we're gonna tie this breast up so that it will cook very uniformly. We're not gonna have any thin areas, thick areas. We're gonna take it into a nice little bundle let me show you how we do that. So there's four pieces. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna tuck this under. I'm gonna put this underneath it. And tuck it. Run it across the top. And guys, I'm gonna wrap it three times. And the reason why I'm wrapping it three times is so it will stay. Now, look at that, it didn't pull loose, it didn't loosen up whenever I let go because I have three of them on there. So that's tied. Give me one in the middle here. Again, tuck it back underneath and tie it up. And let's go for la one last one on this end. Snug it up. Tie it up. Those are looking good. I'm gonna take this last one here I have and I'm gonna go across the top with it. And as you can see, yes, I've messed up my rub a little bit, but I'll fix that problem. I'm gonna go back over it one more time just so everything will stay. Let me cut these off, get rid of these tag ends. Give me one more piece of twine, enough to go all the way around it. Now, guys, I'm gonna come right here all the way around my twine, all the way around my uh, turkey breast, right, with my twine. Let's tighten it up. And we have got a very nice little package that's gonna cook up much more evenly than it would have otherwise. I'm gonna come back with my honey chipotle killer bee. Get this side real well. Coat that end. And now the top with a nice uniform coat. All right, guys, there you go. It's a nice, even coat. We're gonna set this back in the refrigerator, let it sweat out a little bit while we're getting our fire ready. And guys, I want you to see this. I now have a left-handed kettle grill for you to look at. So come on, let's look at that new grill I got. Here is the left-handed grill. Came in from Slow and Sear, just got this the other day. Guys, I'm gonna do a review on it so y'all can see it, but it is set up for left-handed people. So the hood slides off to the right. You can work with your left hand, unlike the other ones. I'm used to working with it backwards. So guys, it's kind of hard to get used to because I'm used to using everything right-handed, but this is set up for a left-handed person. And let me show you how I have this grill set up. If you'll look in here, I've got foil across the bottom. So what I do is, is the heat comes in the bottom through the charcoal, across the meat, out the exhaust. Guys, it's set up that way. There is no water in the slow and sear because I do not want to put moisture on that skin. We want to dry out that skin on that on the chicken today, turkey, whatever, when you have poultry in there, right? Don't put the water in the slow and sear. Cook it dry, dry out your skin. That's gonna help a lot. This turkey breast has sweated out. I'm gonna set it on there, close it up. 
We'll see y'all in about 30 minutes. I'm gonna take that turkey breast and turn the other side toward the fire. Half hour into this cook, let's open up our lid. Ooh, you can tell, half hour, we're already pretty black right there. Good thing I came out and checked this. So we're gonna turn it, move it a little further away from that fire, getting a little bit hot. All right, folks, we got it turned around. It's looking pretty good, a little bit dark on this side, not the end of the world. We're gonna let it keep going in a half hour. We're gonna turn it again. We're gonna get this cooked up really nice in about two hours. This turkey breast is looking great. It's almost to temp. It's about 161 degrees after two hours of cooking at 300 degrees. And I tell you what, folks, we are gonna coat this. We're adding another layer of flavor. We keep talking about layering flavors. Here comes our next layer, and it's a chipotle barbecue sauce. This is my sauce. I've mixed it with 25% agave nectar, 25% Gentleman Jack's Tennessee Sippin' Whiskey. So we have got a whiskey chipotle glaze going on top of this turkey breast. Let's just squeeze it out. Guys, look at this, running down on that turkey breast. This is fairly thin. I thinned it out some. It's a little bit warm, so it's flowing across it good. Not worried about it dripping down on the grill because I've got a uh, aluminum foil down there. Remember, we have our diverter for our, our air. It's catching this for us. So we're going to get this sauced up, get it covered back up, go for another 10 minutes. When it comes to 165 degrees and that sauce is candied up real good, we're going to pull it off, let it cool some, and make some fantastic turkey melt sandwiches out of this great smoked turkey bread. Time to get our peppers on here. I've got some beautiful green, orange, red, yellow uh, bell peppers. These are gonna be great on this turkey melt sandwich. Going on with a little oil right here in the middle. Here we go. They are sizzling. Once these get going just a little bit, I'm gonna throw on some white onions to go with them. And we're gonna have some fantastic grilled onions and peppers to go on top of this turkey sandwich. I'm gonna take these and just kinda turn them over. You can use your tongs if you want to. You can see this grill, it's nice and hot right now. We are sauteing, and remember, saute means to sizzle and jump, right? That means this baby is hot. We're gonna get some browning. We're not sweating these, we are sauteing them. But those are looking pretty good. Come back here. Get my white onions. They're going in with them. Going to get all of these veggies. Yeah, I'm going to get them kind of medium soft. Maybe what we'd call a crisp tender. And once they get crisp tender, we're going to move them to the side. And we're going to get these buns out that I had to make these sandwiches with. And I got some great big loaves of white bread uh, that's fresh out of the oven today. That is going to be great on here. And we'll toast those up. We're gonna slice that turkey breast because it's gonna be cool here in a second. And we're gonna make these fantastic sandwiches. Might add a little more of our honey chipotle killer bee on here. Get a lot of good flavor in on these peppers and onions. Guys, there's gonna be a lot of chipotle on this because I'm also gonna put a chipotle mayo on it. I'll show y'all how to make that here in just a minute. Would you look at these vivid colors that we're gonna have on top of this sandwich? Guys, you eat with your eyes first. This is going to be a beautiful, beautiful turkey melt sandwich. So, we eat with our eyes. Y'all guys on the videos, that's all you get to eat with is your eyes. But today, it is gonna be a colorful feast, and it is gonna be a flavorful feast. I promise you that. Let's slide these over to the side. I'm gonna get out my buns. I'm gonna slice those, get them toasted. Then we'll look at slicing up that turkey breast. Put these over on the on the cool side. In fact, I'm going to turn that burner all the way off. That's ready to go. Let's get the bread. Let's get that turkey sliced. Let's get these sandwiches made. We're going to make this chipotle mayo. Guys, I tell you what, I have got two cups of Duke's mayo. You can never go wrong with Duke's. It's going into the bowl. If you get the two cup size, all you got to do is, is whatever's left over, put it back in there, and you got it to use later on. Now, I have got some chipotles in adobo. These are crushed, and so I'm gonna take about two tablespoons and drop that in there. All right, if you get the whole peppers, all you have to do is just chop them up, put them in your food processor, stir that just a little bit, all right? Two big tablespoons, and I have got the juice of one lime. 
Going with our lime juice in there. We can stir that in. Let me get my whisk. And just whisk this up. And there is our chipotle mayo that's gonna go on these sandwiches. Gonna be a great, great another layer of flavor, right? Fantastic. You can see these white loaves. They are fresh bread. They're gonna get sliced up. I'm gonna go all the way through, all right? Just get your bread knife. We're cutting all the way through those just like that. Take this one, cut it open with our bread knife also. Now we're gonna put these onto our griddle. You can butter it if you want to. You can butter these, but I tell you what, we already have the oil on there from our bell peppers. It's got some of our honey chipotle killer bee on it. So the oil's there, the flavor of those onions and peppers are there. We're gonna lay these and toast them right on top of that. Just gonna drop these on. Get this bread nice and warm, get it toasted. Let's turn these over and look at them. Oh yeah, got a nice toast on that side. These are toasting up nicely. Look at that. Here we go. Oh yeah. These are gonna be ready. I'm gonna toast these tops just a little bit and they are gonna be ready to go. I'm just gonna slice this off. Get us some nice slices to go on these two sandwiches. Oh yeah, look at that. Man, the moisture is just running out of this bird. I'm just gonna slice these off here. And look at that, folks. This turkey is beautiful. It is moist. It is cooked to perfection. And it is going to make a tremendous turkey sandwich, let me tell you. Man, this thing is, is just packed with flavor. That brining, man, it just makes a lot of difference in it. But I tell you what, this is a beautiful, beautiful turkey. And it is, it's going to be tremendous. Guys, turkey breasts do not have to be dry if you cook them correctly. And this one was cooked right. Now here's our next step. And this is the one that's going to be a surprise to you. Guys, this is a surprise for my wife. She's not much on skin off of chicken or off of turkey. But what I'm going to do is, that skin that you saw kind of sloughing off when we sliced it a while ago, we're going to take that skin, drop it back on with a little oil. And we're going to crisp up this. I'm only going to put it on one of the sandwiches tonight. But we're going to make some little turkey skin chicharrones to go up on top of it. So it's going to have a nice little crispy crunch on it. Uh, that's going to be hid kind of down inside that sandwich. And now it's time to get some turkey on there. Guys, we're going to, we got a great big sandwich. And we're going to go right here with this kind of diagonal is the way we're going to line these up on there. We go with four big slices of turkey. Ooh, and how about a small one right there? We're going to have a lot of turkey on this sandwich. Make this first one come in with some uh, peppers right there. Would you look at those colors, our onions, our peppers. Now, I'm going to come back with some of these turkey chicharrones on top. If you wanted to dice them up, you could do that also, but the turkey chicharrones are on it. That's looking good. And now the cheese that we're using. Guys, I got some really good cheese here. It's a Boarheads cheese. And this is a, a Chipotle Gouda cheese. So here we go. I'm going to put three nice big slices of cheese on here. Right there. Put that back down. Get my lid. Y'all know the routine. Steam it up. Cover it up. Melt that cheese. And we're going to be putting it on one of these big buns that we've already toasted up. As that's toasting, I'm going to use some of my mayo now on my bun. Let's go on here with a nice coating of this chipotle mayo. Let's take a peek under here. Oh yeah, that's melted. Man, little fly over here. We got some beautiful peppers, chipotle gouda cheese, and that turkey on the bottom. That is fixing to go on our bun. Now, on top of our bun, I'm gonna go with some beautiful green leaf lettuce on here. Guys, this is just really gonna, gonna give me a lot of color in here. 
I love leaf lettuce. Throw away that iceberg lettuce. Use green leaf lettuce. That's on there. Some vivid, vivid red tomatoes. And I guarantee you that cheese is melted. It's time to get it off of there. There's a nice red tomato. That's moved over. Pick this up. Take my uh, spatula here and help myself. That is pretty. Let's put the bun up on top. There we have it, folks. A couple of fantastic sandwich. This one came out real good. I'm going to slice that one up. We're going to take a look on the inside, let y'all see that. Get up real close. Then we'll get a taste of this sandwich and see exactly how good it is. But let's slice into it real quick. Tell you what, this is going to be a trick to eat. It's one of those where you got to lean over to eat it, right? Let's open this up and let y'all see it. Look at that. Now this is gonna be a challenge, folks, right here. Would you look at that sandwich? Here we go, guys. Toasted bun, chipotle mayo, green leaf lettuce, red tomatoes, turkey breast, smoked to perfection, moist, tender, juicy. We have got sauteed onions, red, green, yellow, orange bell peppers, nice to a crisp, tender. And they're ready to go. We got our chipotle mayo on here, our chipotle gouda cheese. We have got our turkey skin chicharrones. And this is just sandwich perfection. Let's see if I can get this thing in my mouth. That's a lot of sandwich, folks, let me tell you. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, I tell you what, that is sandwich perfection. That turkey breast was cooked right. And that sandwich is just bursting with flavor vivid colors it's beautiful to the eye it's beautiful to the taste it is a great turkey breast and a fantastic sandwich got a little kick to it with that chipotle in there but definitely not overpowering it is packed with flavor hey thanks for stopping by texas style barbecue and cuisine i appreciate it remember to check out my friend dead broke barbecue put a link down below for him and go to smoking joe's and vote vote for texas style barbecue and cuisine a link's going to be down below in the description box go down there click it go to his community page and put in a vote for me chef johnny it'll say texas style barbecue and cuisine that's the one you're looking for check it hey guys thanks a lot look at the other videos from the barbecue pit masters of youtube we're having a lot of fun with this a lot of good guys on there best of luck to ricer i hope he comes in second right behind me anyways Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. Always appreciate it. Tell your friends and family about us. Share us on your social media. And we're going to see you all down the road on Texas-style barbecue and cuisine. So long, everybody.